Uh, hi team. Um, so I've just realised that every time I do one of these videos, I position myself in front of a piece of wood and furniture. Um, so I probably need to start looking for sponsorship for that um, from B&Q or other furniture outlets that are available. <laughs> um, so this poem is about, um, not about furniture, um, but it's about a time three years ago when um, I was just coming out the other side of my breakdown and it was just before I was about to do It Affects Me, which um, if you don't know it, give it a Google. It's a mental health campaign that I run and um, it was at that time where I'd been really poorly and I started to feel a shift in myself and I started to feel connected to the world again and to something bigger than myself and it happened when I was on a bus <laughs> and so this poem is a little bit about that and it's called The Driver. When Maya Angelou said, for those of you who've given up on love, trust life a little. The spittle from those words encased in heart departed her voice into mine. The time for lying flat along the creases of my carpet while the overtures of heartbreak laid in cuticles bit down was over. It was done. The sun that shunned the very fringes of my mind now tried to fight its way into the edges of my day. A ragged beam of something that eclipsed what blocked the way. For those of you who've given up on love, trust life a little. Life. That little breath of something that brought newness out of old. Emboldened by the starkness of audacity it held, I breathed and remembered how to breathe. Reprieved momentarily from the weight across my chest, I blessed the silence of the something that had brought me out of depth the deafness that had muffled my existence on that bed. I lay there and listened to the buses down ahead, the off and on of lives and tries and roots and plans and heads that turned to greet me as I peeled the covers back and open wide their palms upturned as I stepped onto the track. The thwack of life that hit me as my eyes began to crack and spill and pour and weep in answer to their smiles as they grabbed my hand and span me in their vibrancy, beguiling me to try and see that life was there in front of me. I settled down beside them on the top deck of the bus. The angels of normality that freed me from despondency and pushed my nose into the glass to see the cloud of breath that rose the closer that I came to know the something that supposed that we were worth it. That life was worth it. I leant into my neighbor, who pretended not to mind, as the driver turned the key and pulled away. <laughs>